Greetings to all. We celebrate the Ascension. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We begin our liturgy by calling to mind our sinfulness and asking the Father's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who believe that your only begotten Son, our Redeemer, ascended this day to the heavens, may in spirit dwell already in heavenly realms, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. And after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which he had heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. 
When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He answered to them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. And while they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Lord, you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word to accompany signs, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This little boy, little Johnny, is about four years old, and uh, he was very, getting very annoyed and irritated by his little new baby, new baby brother, newborn baby infant, and uh, the baby was crying constantly and screaming, and his little Johnny was just so irritated, so Johnny asked his mom, Mom, where did he come from? And uh, the mother, and Johnny's mother said, the little baby came from heaven. And little Johnny says, no wonder they threw him out. <laughs> Of course, as you think about it, it, it during the uh, time of ascension, uh, this is the time when we talk about heaven, about Jesus ascending into heaven. And uh, he gives to the disciples their mission to go to, into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. And then at the end of the gospel, they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. Of course, as Jesus ascends into heaven, he gives that mission to the disciples and uh, he passes it on to all of us. As Christians, we have that mission to uh, preach the word of God, to set the example of Christian life and faith. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body of life everlasting, Amen. We bring our petitions to our Heavenly Father. Our response today is let us walk in your light. For all called to minister to God's people in the church throughout the world, may they continue the great mission entrusted by Christ to the apostles to bear witness to the risen Christ and salvation to all God's people. Risen Savior, let us walk in your light. For the leaders of all nations, may their focus be on keeping the people safe from harm. May they strive to envision a new world where peace and harmony reign, and where all people live in freedom with justice and dignity. Risen Savior, let us walk in your light. For our faith community, may we experience new life in the risen Christ, and rise up willing hands and cheerful hearts to serve Christ in one another. Risen Savior, let us walk in your light. For the young people of our parish who received the sacrament of confirmation this past week, may they be filled with the Holy Spirit and by their example, support and encourage others to follow Jesus Christ. We pray, risen Savior, let us walk in your light. For all people, may we have the wisdom to choose ways of living which are good for the climate and for the future of our generations and for the health of the earth. Risen Savior, let us walk in your light. For the sick and suffering, especially Ken Bestuga, Mary Vanderplow, Leslie Dunlap, Matt and Amanda Creedon, and also for those suffering the loss of a loved one, 
risen Savior, let us walk in your light. For our needs held in the silence of our hearts and those that are written in the book of petitions in the Eucharistic Chapel, including John and Esther Michalek, Gerald Johnson, Ginny Haas, Tommy Dungara, Hang Trung, Kelly Triani, and the people of the parish, risen Savior, let us walk in your light. Almighty God and Father, may our prayers increase our love for you and one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us share earth in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with the meaning of God Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant peace her peace and unity in accordance with your will who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer a sign of peace to one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, 
but that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And just uh, before our final blessing, just a word of, of thanks to the generosity that, uh, that donations are coming in from our parishioners and the visitors that, uh, that come to, to Mass here. And it's just been uh, so, so great. It, it, uh, just thanks a lot for all your help and we're gonna get this done as the contributions keep coming. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended, go in peace. Father Bob, on behalf of the Knights of Columbus, Council 5918 of Christ the Servant in St. Scholastica Parishes, we are very pleased to present you this check for $500 towards the Christ the Servant Parish Capital Campaign. Much appreciated, thank you very much. The Knights always are very generous. They do a lot for our parish service, generosity, financially. God bless the Knights. <laughs> you, Amen. 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 Hello everybody. I'm here with Gracie and Louie. And uh, again, with, the life is getting better. Things are opening up and people are going out and uh, socializing, which reminds me of a story about this young lady who went on this blind date. And uh, to her chagrin, she's dead. When they went out to dinner, all the young man would just talk about himself. God, just bragging about his accomplishment what he's done, what he's going to do, and she just couldn't get a word in edgewise. But finally, toward, and then he finally stops and he says, now, now, after I talk so much, now tell me, what about you? Let me ask you. And uh, the lady says, oh, finally, I get to say something, you know, get me something about myself. And the young man says, yes, tell me, what do you think about me? Whenever I told that story at church, and uh, there's always some, some young lady comes up to me afterwards and says, I think I dated that guy once. <laughs> but, uh, no, again, we want to thank everybody for uh, the generosity you've shown. And the Knights of Columbus made a great, great donation to the church today. And we're very, very happy with what's been going with the response. And love you all. And uh, Tracy and Louie say so long. And... Uh, Take care, everybody.